hello, hello, my beautiful Earth Angel friends. Welcome to Angels Teach. I am Elvia Rowe, and I am so delighted that you are here and interested in what your angels may have to share with you today. So, April, a very special time of year for those of us at Angels Teach because it's our birthday month. And I, I love birthdays. I have to admit, I love birthdays. Uh, I love anybody's birthday whether it's a loved one, whether it's mine, whether it's yours, anybody's, because it's just an opportunity to really look at things. And we're going to get into a little bit of that with one of our readings this month. Okay, so here is where I'm going to ask you to choose number one, number two, or number three, because I have three messages, all associated with a different photograph, and one of these is going to have a message for you. Now, if you feel as though, and I do get this question with a good amount of frequency, that more than one message is coming forward for you, what I really encourage you to do is to prioritize and listen to whatever is loudest first. Allow whatever number is really screaming at you right now to be your priority and give it your full attention. It's a brilliant strategy of the ego to get so many things going on that nothing actually happens. So simplify, really focus on the number one priority. And just if you are getting guidance that you're, there's other messages in here for you, just put that to the side temporarily and come back to it a little later. Okay, so if you chose number one, happy birthday, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it is your birthday month. Maybe not. Either way, this message is for you. And in a word, the angels give me around this image, this number that you've chosen, is decision. And the reason is, you know, birthdays are a time of celebration, right? They're that time of year that we just look back and we think, wow, here I am. I'm whatever age you are and look at what I have accomplished so far. And for some of us, that can be a difficult thing to do, that reflection. We can look back on our lives and feel like, you know, it's not exactly what I thought it would be. And that may be okay, and that may not be okay. And so this message for you is to make a decision for change. It's to make a decision to put your needs first. It's a decision to make your spiritual growth number one. It's a decision to make your physical health number one. It's a decision to make your emotional, your mental well-being number one. So think of this as a rebirth, as an opportunity for you to create the next 365 days as an experience that you're going to look back a year from now and say, wow. This is awesome. We have this year been talking a bit about creating 2018 with the angels. And this is an opportunity, if you're doing that with us, to go back and look at your intentions and look at how they are lining up for you. Look at your own commitment to following through with those intentions. Commitment, of course, very related to decision, because every day you have to make a decision to be committed to your path, to your work, to your health, to yourself, to your, everything that you love in your life, right? So feeling like that really sums it up. If you've received this, this is your angels inviting you to go deeper into making that decision that the experience that you deserve in life, and yes, you do deserve it, is exactly what is needed and in store for you right now. So all you have to do is make the decision, ask your angels for help, and really dig into that faith muscle, because you deserve it. Okay, loves, for those of you who chose number two, this is your image, and this is a piece of uh, <laughs> sewer, uh, whatever, construction, uh, being carried by some kind of a backhoe or whatever. I was behind uh, down in Providence, Rhode Island. And the message for you is patience. 
There is some obstacle, some cloud of confusion, some perceived things not happening kind of energy that is in front of you. And how it looks from where you are right now is that nothing is moving, that it's stagnant, that you're stuck, that you know, you just are probably getting some level of anxiety around whatever seems to not be happening. And so the message here for you is that patience is key right now because what you can't tell from this still picture is that this um, piece of machinery was actually moving at like five or 10 miles an hour. And I admit it, I was a little frustrated because I was thinking, ah, I'm gonna be late. But you know what? Everything, of course, worked out perfectly. And so stress is not a necessary thing as we allow patience because in doing that, we actually open the energy and understand that the obstacle is moving. Whatever we think is in front of us, whatever clouds of confusion we think are there, as we allow patience, as we allow us ourselves to be centered, as we allow ourselves to be connected with our angels and following our guidance, that perceived obstacle is moving. So be patient, allow the stillness, talk to your angels, and remember that this obstacle isn't real. It's only an illusion. And as you follow your guidance, as you listen to the truth that's in your soul, it will move and get out of the way and you're gonna go on and feel much better. For those of you who chose number three, I love this image so much. The juxtaposition of the snowy, wintry scene with the springtime daffodils is just so magical. And in a word, the message for you is focus. We've had a lot of late spring snowstorms here in New England, and this time of year for us can can be a little bit tricky. It's like spring is here, but it's like a teaser. It's kind of here. And then in a lot of days, it doesn't really feel so much like it's here. And, you know, it can be an emotional roller coaster if you allow the weather to really get to you, um, as, you know, some of us can. So the invitation for you here is to focus on the beauty that is all around you. And even the beauty in this wintry scene, I mean, it's it's pretty, all that white is so pretty. Uh, and so wherever you are, whatever your circumstances, there's always something beautiful to bring into your life, to see, to really notice. And in fact, I invite you right now to just look around your space and find something that just really touches your heart. It could be a candle on your desk, a picture of one of your loved ones, just anything that is really going to open your heart and bring you that sense of gratitude for life because you know this life that we're experiencing is just magnificent it's got so many wonderful things that are part of it and as humans we have such a tendency to just focus on the crappy stuff right and Doing that just perpetuates that feeling of crappiness. And this is your opportunity, your invitation from the angels to focus on the beauty. So yeah, look at that beauty in your life and remember how magical it is and how good it makes you feel and bring more of that into your life. All right, my earth angel friends, that's a wrap for the month of April and our video messages from the angels. If you haven't already, come on over to angelsteach.com. If you want to become an angel communication master, we would love to help you to do that. We do have a six month certification program that is starting in the fall. And we are actually also beginning this month our precursor to that, which, our, which is our eight week live training. So again, come on over to angelsteach.com. We would love to welcome you. And with that, I wish you so much love. Have a beautiful month and I will see you again soon. Be well.